This is a follow-up video of the solar food dehydrator. Show you what I've done since I've built it. Uh, it's mid-October here, so I haven't used it in quite a while, but to put it away for the winter and uh, being overrun by goat weed in this particular spot. It's worked pretty good in the last uh, two years or so I've had it. I mainly do apples in it. And unfortunately where I live here, I don't get much sun, so uh, maybe six hours of sun in this particular spot with it. But uh, with that I can do apples in about two days. If I had more sun, I know I could do them in one. Uh, it's quite a reflection, you probably can't see inside, but there's four tray spots and I haven't got around to doing the fifth yet, but one of these days. Biggest problem I had over the years was sealing the door well all the way around the edge and I have this foam that's underneath can't really see and I've been looking for some sort of wing nut sort of thing but all I could find were these uh, hooks that basically drilled holes through um, it means basically though that once it's sealed it's sealed really well until I take the stuff out makes it uh, you know harder to open the door but uh, it seals seals good so I don't get anything inside I need to put another one over there and in the off season I'm going to uh, paint this circle up. There's a rock on it right now. Hold it down but to permanently attach it to the top. Just been sort of lazy there so the rain doesn't get in. Got a thermometer inside. It's pretty chilly out today. It's only uh, what 13 inside. I the air temperature today is about 7 degrees. I built a nice base down there. Kind of hard to see with all the goat weed overrunning the yard. And I've got big bricks inside each of the milk cartons just so it doesn't tip over in the wind. One thing I did try this year, a little experiment. Uh, there's a computer fan up inside there that you can't see. And I've got this pill bottle with a switch on top and a 9 volt battery. And it actually worked pretty good. I could do apples in uh, one day when I use this thing. It would blow the more warm air up to the hose and dry the apples out. But my problem was I found that I was going through at least uh, one 9 volt battery a day. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know much about electricity, so something wrong there. So I can't really afford that, and it defeats the purpose of uh, having a uh, you know passive food dehydrator. So I'm going to get rid of that in the off season. Uh, and that's really about it. I put these uh, little strips of wood on the bottom so it's flat on top of the milk cartons. I was thinking of trying, I've got three pieces of, of metal in here. Open this up. These little pieces of metal and I was thinking about uh, putting pop cans, drilling them so they're tubes of pop cans, or beer cans probably in my case, and uh, painting them black. But these do pretty good. Uh, look at that, you can see the earwig inside. This, uh, the wood has, uh, crush that little bastard. The wood, I'm not a very good carpenter, so the wood casing's not very good. I have to seal it up a bit better, but, uh, the unit's sealed at the top here and going into the inside there, so you're not getting any bugs coming up. Uh, right now, it comes out a bit there, so I have to get another hook on the side. But other than that, it works good. It's a, it's a good little rig. I just wish I got more sun in this yard. Unless goat weed taken over. There you go.